always happy when they're alive. <laughs> so those are my goldfish. I started off with those in my little five gallon bucket things. And then here we're gonna have my my guys and every once in a while I'll come out and somebody's dead. So I'm really hoping they didn't decide to do that to me today. I mean like you know, maybe every three or four months. So you can see them there, I think, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're like, oh. Look, yeah. <laughs> so what do you have? I've got bluegill. Bluegill, great. Bluegill. Cool. And now, bluegill are beautiful because they can get pretty hot and not die. Right. This... And they survived all through this winter. Not that that's spectacular, because this winter was pretty mild. Was, yeah. But, but, uh, but bluegill are adapted for this area naturally. Yeah. So. They, they'll do, and I don't know if you can tell, but they're not tiny. Yeah, they're pretty For big. people who eat bluegill, they're just fine. The only bad thing about bluegill and other fish like this is it's heck to catch them. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the nice thing about an aquaponic system is I could just drain the silly thing and then like scoop them off the bottom and there's nowhere <laughs> for them to go. <laughs> if I was desperate to eat, that is. That's and true. I think I've got about 50 of them in here. Oh, wow. wow. But frankly, I have no clue because this is a very dark tank. And they do two things. One is their color is kind of the color of the water in the tank. So I can't really see them very well. And the second thing is that um, they do this thing where if they see you, say, say you're there, you'll line up like this. And as you move, he'll line up to be lined up with your eye. So, so I can see how long they are, but it's hard for me to see what they would look like on a plate. <laughs> right, guys? Yeah. And they're like, like okay, we're all yeah. done. We're all done. Hmm. I will attempt. I should get a, a much bigger thing. I picked this up for like five bucks. See, none of you are going to let me do this. I know it. You might have heard them hitting each other in there. <laughs> so this was a broccoli, one broccoli seed that is way wow. too big and it's gone to seed. Look at that. And you've got strawberries oh, here. here. Yeah, they survived through the winter and they're really embarrassing because <laughs> like, I just barely bought some chelated iron, chelated iron, however you say that. Yep. EDTA. Yeah. Which is it called? And these are some, uh, whatever this stuff is called. And mint, mint that I've just got sitting in a plastic bucket and I put water in it every once in a while because yep. I haven't gotten around to transplanting it. And you can even just do that, which is mm. really terrible. Mm. <laughs> there are peas and over there. Now you can say you've seen sage in bloom. I don't know <laughs> if it's like perfume, but. Can you see okay? Yeah. yeah good. This is my daughter's college um, garden from her windowsill. Oh, so wow. I just left it out here like that. Um, my cabbage is being munched a little bit by people, but it's just bulky too much. I've got kale in here. Uh, I'm not even sure what some of these are. Oh, yeah, this is like um, some more <laughs> from my friend because I went over to her house and she's like, oh, you have this plant. These are my, these guys calling me down. These are my um, beans, and I wonder what happened. They probably got really, really burned. Or something like that. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Probably means it's not bad. Um, I think we've got garlic in here, rosemary. I think this actually is lavender. This is definitely rosemary, sage, like whoa. Mm -hmm. uh, beets, I love beets. Beets are so More and more kale. Yep. I tried making kale chips. My kale chips didn't turn out. Oh, no. um, there's uh, celery back there. More hmm, strawberries. More and more stuff. Yeah, we've probably seen everything. Yeah. Right now. 